Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. It's your boy Dove Risen and back with some more NCAA football road to glory. Let's get into it. Looks like we're taking Florida Atlantic today. Come the Ragin' Cajuns. For UL Lafayette, is there anything we should be keeping an eye on? They go with the spread. One of the things I really like about this is how it thins out a defense up front by getting so many receivers across the field. Whether they're running or passing, the defense can't be focused at the point of attack. This is a stupid play. Rolls to the right. Across midfield. At the 30, to the 20, to the 10. He'll take it all the way for the touchdown. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, in college football, there's not a bigger weapon than a quarterback that can pass and run. You've got yourself a football player. That is a big league run. The offense will take over at the 47-yard line. Here's the option, and he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. So he decides to hold on to it, and that's going nowhere. Good job by the junior linebacker to read the run and limit the play to a short game. They'll drop him for a loss. I don't think the play developed the way it was supposed to. And the next game was a loss. And I can't call out on once because I'm not in. Scott will run it again. Okay, I take that back. Way to about the, 38. the play was very well conceived as they were able to get a decent gain in a first down. Louisiana Lafayette is up by a touchdown. They'll give it off here. Nice run to the outside. Scott gets seven yards on the play. From the 31 yard line, second down. Back to pass. Oh, shit. Oh, he dropped it. I know this quarterback trusts his arm and his receivers, but he's got to know when not to throw the ball. He didn't have any room at all, and he's lucky it wasn't intercepted. Oh, what was it? Well, they tried to keep it on the ground for the first down. You know, Brad, here the defense just steps up and makes a play, stopping them and yeah, bringing well, up the going down. for it, but whatever. He's going to try and scramble. Well, they decided to go for it. The coach is an idiot. Here's the option. Decent run here, right side. So the quarterback keeps it for about seven yards. From their own 20-yard line, second down. 
Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Charles, left side. Gains his way to the 29-yard line. Some guys are dangerous no matter where they are on the field. Whether they have speed, elusiveness, great vision, whatever the case may be, you have to find ways to get the ball in their hands. We're through one quarter, and the score is Louisiana Lafayette, seven, Florida Atlantic, nothing. They'll take it inside, but the defense is ready. Nothing doing on the halfback draw. Back to pass. Rolls to the right. Now he's going to run and watch out. And he's tackled in the open field. A good quarterback knows when and how to improvise. And if he's got the skills, he can also turn a scramble into something big. Bubble screen. Oh, fuck this play. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He goes downtown. Broken up. Second and ten. Ball on their own 48. Now he tries to buy some time. They'll make the sack. Unfortunately, I've taken a few of those in my day, and they are not pleasant. He's immediately tackled. He's a solid blocker, but as he showed right there on third down, he also has soft hands for a big guy. Here's the eighth play of the series. Back to throw. Here comes the pressure. No, incomplete. He's unable to hit his receiver. He overthrew it. Yeah, and that's a throw he should make every single time. Well, the receiver didn't even make it after it, so what does that say? Run left, and he's taken down in the backfield. Loss of two by the halfback. He lets it fly. And he's taken down at the 14. That was more than enough to pick up the first down. Next time, this defense will be playing on their heels. Gets a snap, and here comes the defense. Tackle at the 10. Good coverage by the defense, but they have to be aware. It's done. Oh, I'm back. They'll go to work at the 37-yard line. Looks to pass, and he's sacked. So the sack yeah, second and 18. Let's run the ball. Good idea, coach. Scott takes a handoff, and he's tackled at the 38-yard line. The offensive line got a really good push there, allowing the back to pick up nine on the play. Tackle made at the 49-yard line. On third and long, they get the first down, but was it close? Close or not, what a relief it is to the quarterback to have a new set of downs to work with. From their own 49-yard line. First down. Drops back and brought down immediately. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. Across the middle. He goes down at the 29-yard line. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 29-yard line. Here's the pass. Broken up. Did you see how quickly he closed on the ball and broke up that pass? That's what you look for in a safety. 
The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. Espinoza gains four yards on that reception. And they got some pressure on him that time. The offense will take over at the 23. It's first and 10. Scott, the ball carrier. Nice run there as they work the outside. Scott gets about four yards on the play. That makes, that makes it second and six. They'll run the option. He fights forward to about the 29. So at the end of three quarters, it's only a one possession game with the score. Louisiana Lafayette, 14. Florida Atlantic, 10. Louisiana Lafayette is up by four. He's scrambling. Makes the grab past the marker. They'll bring him down at the 35. First and 10. Ball on the 35. Passes and it's almost picked off. Almost a big play. He patrols the deep part of the field like a center fielder. Though he didn't make the catch like one. Scrambling around, and they got him. He was a sitting duck on that play, and believe me, these defensive players love a sitting duck. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Looking to throw. Can't find anyone open. He can run. Brought down at the 45-yard line. Third down has been the charm on this drive. No, it's been all about execution. When it comes to calling the right play at the right time, they've been able to do it here. Straight run, nothing going on there. A yard, maybe two on the carry. And there's not much he could do to get away from the junior safety on that play. Here's the eighth play of the series. Second down. He's scrambling. And it's caught, and he's tackled at the 38-yard line. Griffith picks up around five yards with that catch. Scott gets another carry. He gets to about the 27-yard line. So with that run, they pick up another first. It's a nice job again up front by the offensive line. They're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front, and it's allowed them to move the ball down the field. They hand it off, and he's in the open field. Out of bounds at the 15-yard line. I thought they were going to take a loss on the play, but he broke the tackle and barely got the first down. Less than three minutes in the game. Let's clock down a little bit. He scrambled. Throws oh, it and it's tipped away. It's a good play here in the secondary. When the safety commits, he needs to be there at the right time because he's the last line of defense. Option left. When you're an option quarterback, you get used to getting popped pretty quickly. He'll bounce right back up. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. That's a great tackle at the 28. They'll set up shop at the 13. First Good thing for a D. Under a minute left. He gets to about the 24-yard line. And the tailback broke that one for a very nice game. Give the offensive line some kudos there. They blocked very well up front to create the holes for this back. Takes a knee.
Zoe takes another knee. And this one's all but wrapped up with the final score, Louisiana Lafayette 14, Florida Atlantic 10. So that wraps things up in another game of NCAA Football 12. For EA Sports, Aaron Andrews and Kirk Herbstreet, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time. We could skip this. How did I just get past them? Red jerseys, white pants. The quarterback couldn't have asked for much better field position than where they're at now. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. What was the damn ball? Touchdown, Ragin' Cajuns. He fired it out to his wide receiver who made the grab and got the score. When this guy's got time to throw, he makes the defense pay. I didn't have time. <laughs> This drive will start at the 40. 40. He's scrambling. Brought down at the 48. 
It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Feeds it to the back. He's brought down in the open field. First and ten. Ball on the 44. Here's the option to the right. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 33. They'll go with the option. You know, it looked to me like he should have made the pitch, but he kept it instead and wound up going backwards. I would if I knew how to pitch. Here's a give up the middle, tackled right away. Nowhere to go on the delay. And then we have no kicker, so... Throws incomplete, intended for his wide outs. Scrambling around. It might not be a lot of fun, but when you're a receiver, you've got to be able to take some hits and hang on to the football. It's yeah. Part of the game. Oh shit. He's scrambling. Tackle at the 46. So this is a nice run for the first down by this quarterback. It's first and ten. Ball on the 46-yard line. Charles on the run. He gets out to about the 48-yard line. From their own 48-yard line, it's second down. Looks to pass, and he's sacked. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 44. Five wide. Back to pass. Throws incomplete, broken up. That was a heads-up play by the corner, but it would have never happened if the receiver would have come back to the ball instead of waiting for it to fall into his lap. And he can't get the pass off, and he's safe. They'll go to work at the 20-yard line. Tackled after a decent pickup. Six yards there on the option keeper. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. They go with the option. He gets out to about the 44-yard line. You talk about a dual-threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. And he's sacked. It looks like the defensive end that got in there. Yes, it was. He did a wonderful job of fighting off blocks to bring the quarterback down. They give to the tailback. What a tackle. That was going to be a touchdown. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. On the handoff, watch out. He's tackled at the 33-yard line. Terrific execution by the entire inches. offense to make that run work and to get the third down conversion. Run inside, stop quickly. Scott gets it around three on the halfback draw. Option left. He makes his way to about the 22. Great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. He 
gets out to about the 14-yard line. Second and two yards to go. This is the ninth play of this drive. They go with a run. Touchdown. He got the handoff and knew exactly what to do with it. it out knock loose the wide receiver wasn't able to hang on well you talk about a solid hit this guy is a true enforcer runs it right nice pickup scott picks up about four yards on the play it's third down and six to go ball on the 24 yard line throws in oh my god They'll take over at the nine-yard line. First down, ten to go. He's scrambling. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. We've got a safety. You know, I give a lot of credit. Fucking good. Here's the option. <laughs> he fights forward to about the 39. The option keeper gets him two, maybe three yards. They'll go with the option. The quarterback has some room to the 20. Touchdown. Huge play. Wow, he looked like a running back out there. And he needed that. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 13-yard line. Little handoff. He makes his way out to about the 25. Just a simple draw play there, but they picked up some big yards. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. With the pass incomplete. Why do I bother throwing it? 25 yard line. Second down. Takes it right and brought down right away. The running back gets two on the carry. Third, third down. He's scrambling. He lets it fly. And he's brought down at the 21-yard line. This quarterback doesn't seem to be having any trouble with his own, does he? He recognized the receiver was behind the coverage, and he found him with a perfect strike. That's nice passing for a first down. Scott on the inside handoff. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. They're eating up a lot of field on this drive. I'm really impressed with their ball control. All the big boys are on the field now. Both teams have their big sets out there. Gets the toss, and he's got a block on the corner. Strong run by the halfback to get into the end zone. He's a pretty sure bet to get six when you're this close to the end zone. And they'll look to capitalize on the good field position here. Feeds it to the back. Tackle made at the 25. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25. Here's the option. He fights forward to about the 23. So the quarterback keeps it for two yards. Nice play here by the senior to make the sure tackle. It's not very often that someone's able to shake this guy. He's taken down at the 15-yard line. 
We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 15. It's batted down, incomplete. From the 15 yard line, second down. Option here. Nice run there as they work the outside. So the quarterback keeps it for about seven yards. Third, third down. They'll option left. Touchdown, Raging Cajun. Yeah, another one. What a spectacular run by the quarterback. That is such a weapon for your offense when you have a quarterback who can do things like that. The coach probably loves drawing up plays. Should be a running back. <laughs> They'll go to work at the 19. First down, 10 to go. A little over a minute in the game. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. The offense knows that the linebackers are cheating up a little bit on the run. If they can get some protection, they might want to open up a little bit of space for some passes underneath. Scott on the give. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. From their own 40-yard line. First down. They come out in a goal line set. the call and he answers big time that's going to do it for this one our final score Louisiana Lafayette 34 Troy 9 As we take a look at the highlights, Kirk, how would you summarize the action in this one? Well, this is no big surprise. I think we all anticipated a severe beating in this one. Troy knew they didn't stand much of a chance, but they probably would have liked to keep it a little bit closer than it ended up. There's just not a whole lot you can do when you're facing such a talented team like that. Couldn't have asked for a better game from this guy. He's our player of the game winner. That's going to do it for that carrying team of NCAA right Football 12. Thanks for being with us. I'm Brad Nessler saying so long for Kirk Herb Street, Aaron Andrews, and EA Sports. captain just put a um, 
done yet. Empty. I think we're on Texas. At home again, the mean green. The stupid ass name. They'll go to work at the 28. Option, he fights forward to about the 30. So the quarterback keeps it for two yards. That makes it second and eight. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. Scott gains about five yards on the run. He's going to try and scramble. He's going to air it long. And he's brought down at the 31 yard line. The design of this play is perfect. Working to the strengths of their personnel, and the defense looks totally shell shocked by it. The freshman makes the catch. Flags are down, and this one might be on the offense. 
These are the calls that drive a coach crazy. Senseless penalties can sometimes be the difference between winning and losing the game. They go with the option. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Good discipline here by the defense, stringing the option out and plugging the running lanes. Have moved them back. The Raging Cajuns are going to take a timeout, and that was their first timeout. All that to call the same stupid play, basically. Here's the option. He fights forward to about the 40. Two yards there on the option keeper. Yeah, it was a short gain, but a nice tackle there by the senior corner who came in from the outside and made a nice play. Here's a throw, and it's almost picked. Well, that's one effective way to slow these guys down, getting a hand between the ball and the receiver. Scrambling around. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. The offense will start at the 15-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. And they get the sack. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. They'll run the option. And they got him for a loss. He had nowhere to go on that option play. Let's just keep running. Using running plays. Fuck this coach is an idiot. Third and 20. Oh, running play. It's a handoff to the right. Gains his way to the 13-yard line. They'll go to work at the 25. They go with the back, and he's got room. At the 40, inside the 30, the 10, and he will score. Great-looking play by the offense as the halfback took it in for the score. Here's a Halfback gets the call and he answers big time. Inside the 30, the 10. Touchdown, Raging Cajuns. Did you see how explosive he looked? He had his sights set on the end. The offense will start at the 16. First down, 10 yards to go. Come on, Charles. On the run, right side. Oh, Runs up. outside for a nice game. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. And he's hit immediately. Louisiana Lafayette takes a timeout, and they'll have one timeout left. Drops back on first down. Here's a throw, and it's almost picked. The quarterback threw it right into the hands of the safety. I can't believe he dropped it. Feeds it to the back. Gains his way to the 43-yard line. The running back carries for 10 yards on the draw play. He scrambled. At the 43. And that'll give him another first down. Excellent job there, Brad, of running the football. That was good execution by this offense. He's on the run. And he hits him hard at the 34. Well, they didn't get the first down, but it was still a pretty good run by the quarterback. He made a good decision to take off there. Louisiana Lafayette calls a timeout, and that was their last timeout. Back to pass. 
He comes down with it. What the hell? Oh, that just kills everything this defense has worked for in this first half. You can't let him score with no time left. <laughs> the offense will take over at the 20. First down, 10 to go. They go with the back, and he's got room. He gets to about the 34-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 34-yard line. Let's kill some time. Louisiana Lafayette holds an eight-point advantage. it up the gut and hit a wall of defenders and the halfback's got nowhere to go option nice run and he's brought down so he holds on to it and gets a good five yards option here Nice run there as they work the outside. You know, great effort here by the ball carrier, but I think they need to pass in that situation most of the time. Here's the option. He fights forward to about the 46. So a huge series here. We'll find out what each team is made of. The middle and he makes it out to about the 17 yard line a two yard run by the halfback Here's the option. He gets out to about the 18-yard line. So the option keeper goes for about a yard. And that was the sophomore linebacker there who was able to get in and make that tackle. They work the tailback and he's short. One yard loss for the halfback. That's a big. Just under two minutes in the game. And he makes it out to about the 37 yard line. North Texas will take their first time out of the half. Just under two to go in the game. Tries to get around the corner. He finally goes down at the 30-yard line. When you combine his speed as a runner with the strength of the offensive line, you have the potential for some long runs. Again with the run. Got an opening. And they finally push him out at the two. A run like that usually ignites the offense. So let's see if they can stay on a roll. They're back in the red zone where they have really struggled lately. Swings it left. He's got his fullback. Nowhere to go on that play action pass completion. They're crowding the line. And down he goes at the one. Two yard carry by the fullback. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. Okay. 
And he's going to run this one in. Touchdown. That touchdown pretty much is the nail in the coffin. Yeah, it you is. You know what? The guys on the other side are probably still going to come out fighting. I'm going and that should do it our final tally in this one Louisiana Lafayette 28 North Texas 13. So what are your final thoughts on this one, Kirk? There was no doubt who the better team was today, Brad. North Texas actually played a good ball game today. They just didn't have the horses to match their counterpart. They need to start recruiting to build this program back up. Here's another look at our selection for the EA Sports Player of the Game. That'll do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 12. For Kirk Herbstreit and Aaron Andrews, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye. You're actually getting close to being able to go for one.
That's where we're going to leave it for today. Hope you enjoyed it. As always, let me hear about it. Have a good one. Hashtag, tune in.